What's going on? I am Jimmy Fair, and this is another episode of Talking to Myself. Just getting off the J-O-B, headed to the house, help my daughter do homework, uh, do some uh, editing, video editing. And then I am off to the gym. Tonight is arm night. And there are about two things that go hand in hand with the word gym and uh, weights and weight loss. And so in today's uh, video, I really just wanted to go over what is, in my opinion, one of the simplest and easiest ways to lose weight. And uh, that is very simple and that's keeping a journal and I know you saying man so what I'm gonna write down I'm gonna, I'm gonna write about how I dreamed about the Twinkies and how I could just see my spoon lightly caressing the top of the ice cream and me enjoying the very taste that no not quite not quite but I want to challenge you to go to your local dollar store or go to Walmart, Target, or what have you and purchase a notepad. You know, a decent, you know, decent size notebook, notepad. If some of you have uh, kids that are in school, uh, like I do, you probably have a couple of those things lying, lying around or a tablet. It doesn't matter which one you get. And what I challenge you to do is for the next 60 to 90 days, and I know you're saying, 60 to 90, nobody's going to do nothing for 60 to 90. It's hard to have the willpower to do it. But I guarantee you, you'll start to get results after day 30. And no sooner than you start getting results, you're going to start building momentum. And as you build that momentum, the 60, day and, and 60 days and the 90 days are going to come and go so fast, you're not even going to know it. And what's going to happen next is you're actually going to keep doing it. If not necessarily in the notepad, you're going to be living it out. So my challenge to you is get that notepad and keep the same diet that you've been using. Change nothing. If at 12 o'clock you go to the, the, the snack machine to get a honey bun, write it down. If you go to McDonald's for lunch or whatever, write it down. Put those little notes. If say, for instance, at dinner time, instead of, you know, you know, I guess cooking something, you went to McDonald's and got a Big Mac and a large fry, a sweet tea. I say that because that's one of my favorite things to order. Uh, write it down. Keep a journal of what you do, what you eat. And if you hang out with certain people, like I went to eat lunch with X, Y, and Z, and also write down what they what they had. Now, one of the things I know is going to look crazy to you and your, your your coworkers and whatnot when you sitting up there with a big notebook writing down Big Mac burger or uh, milkshake or something like that. Um, I would advise you to go to uh, the App Store and download the app, My Fitness Pal. It's free, and everybody's on their cell phone, so you will you won't look suspect if you have um, your phone out and you're doing something on your phone. So get the app and log what you eat, and then later go back and put it in your journal. That way you you can keep track. Now here's where the rubber meets the road. Take your journal entries and either once every day or once a week change something in the journal entry in your next day's actions hypothetical for example let's say you get up uh, around 10 30 every day and you drink a coke during the course of your day you drink about four cokes all right the next day, which will be tomorrow, instead of drinking four, swap one of those Coke bottles or Coke cans or whatever you drink 
for water. Then let's say you do that and you actually carry it out. You actually swap that one Coke can, that one bottle you drink, that 20 ounce, you swap it out for a bottle of water. Guess what that is for you? It's called a victory. And how do you win battles? You win battles through small victories. You cannot win a battle in an all-encompassing day. Has it happened? Eh, if you do your historical research, yeah, it has happened. But more often than not, there have been little small battles. Like in World War II, there were tons of small little battles before the ultimate war was won. How are you going to defeat weight loss in one foul swoop in a week or 30 days when you can't even win small battles? Take those small battles, cherish those small battles, and keep adding on to it. So the next day, now that you've, you've replaced one of those Coca-Colas with a bottle of water, why don't you take that one bottle of water and raise yourself a apple instead of a honey bun. And if that's too much and you fall back to that honey bun, say, okay, okay, cool. But look, guess what I did? I did swap a bottle of water out the day before. So what we're gonna do next week, we're gonna keep that one bottle of water going, and next week we're gonna turn that into two, two, into two bottles of water. And then we're gonna try to implement the apple. And maybe not the whole honey bun, half the honey bun. And what you're doing every day that you keep that moving, where you keep adding a small victory to what you're doing, every day that you do that, you're going to build confidence in yourself. Now guess what, guess what else you're doing? You're not beating yourself up about it, which is one of the hardest things not to do when you backslide, as they say in the church. You, he big, he backslid and he went out and had a bill or whatever and you feel so down upon yourself. See, now you can pretty much control what you're doing in the speed and in the manner you want to do it. If it takes you longer than 90 days, cool. Who's, who's, who's beating you up about it? Nobody. If it takes you less than 90 days to, to switch some of those habits, cool. Who's celebrating your victory? I'll help you celebrate your victory. You celebrate your own victory. Please let me know. You know what I'm saying? You'll see my email at the end. Let me know how this goes for you. I want to be there to help you celebrate in your victory and encourage you to keep going. But every time you can replace something that is not helping you lose weight with something that is, you're winning this battle. You're winning it. And ultimately, you're going to win the war. It may take you longer than 90 days to do that, but it's possible. And this is just a small step in the achievement of that goal. So all you have to do is every day write down what you consume. Liquid, food, sweet, whatever. And it's coming up to the holidays. This is the best time to actually start to learn how to manipulate your system, your, your, well, manipulate yourself and create good habits. That don't mean on Thanksgiving day you ain't gonna eat 10 pieces of cake. Trust me, I'm trying to eat me by four, five slices of something. Seriously. And I, and I watch my weight vigorously, it's an obsession. But I want to eat good because it's the holidays. I want to be able to sit back and relax and say, man, you know what? I ate good on Thanksgiving, but tomorrow I got to get back to my grind. I can eat a few of the leftovers, but I'm going to add in and make sure I get my water. I'm going to make sure I eat me some, some vegetables. I'm going to make sure I do the things that I need to do, on, that I do on a daily basis. I'm going to do them on Thanksgiving. Oh, I'm sorry, the day after Thanksgiving. So, and the day after that, and the day after that. And so what I advise you to do, what I'm trying to say is, small victories equal winning great battles and winning great wars. And they become stories that you can tell people that when they look at you after a three month, six month, 12 month period, they can see the change in you, they can see the, the change in your skin, they can see the change in your life. And you did that and you didn't go to uh, some Weight Watchers program, you didn't go to 
a um, a, a trainer. You didn't go to a nutritionist. You didn't do all that. What did you do? You just kept a journal. Anyway, this is your boy. I am Jimmy Fair, Johnny James' grandson. Just wanted to drop you these nuggets off. And I'll thank you for tuning in to another episode of Talking to Myself. Deuces.